Alright, what's next? Ah, <sighs> Battle 2. As you might think about it. Okay, so it's this one again, so... I believe what I'm gonna do here is the fact that I'm just gonna have to like... Since I'm gonna be defending my castle, I'm gonna have to be able to win this instantly. So, might as well able to take down uh, Blinky first, and then the other two after that. So that way, I could able to actually be safe for able to actually just uh, not only get even more cookies, but also just able to actually defend my castle no matter what. So, yeah, that's fun. That's that, that's as far as my strategy, as far as it will go. But I, uh, at least it worked out quite then. But anyways, um, I believe we got Battle 3 now, so... Yeah, Battle 3 now. Do we get a new minigame or something? Or maybe it's just like, you know... I said this many times, of course. You know, I'm not a big fan of this minigame, though, because Crazy Conveyor is just a little bit too much to handle, because... Well, obviously, because of the annoying uh, jumping sound effects, you're gonna be hearing a lot. And especially it doesn't help these too many objects, especially noticeable these computer players, Always attempt to able to throw you off a bit, even especially noticeable that if you really want to win the minigame itself, good luck with that, because even then though, that you can't even predict to able to actually claim your victory on your first run through. Even it, to make matters even much more uh, convincing than that, is the fact that sometimes computer players always catches up. Whenever you think about they're trying to be losing and stuff, but it seems that it turns out they always try to desperately catching up, so... Oh jeez, man. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh no, you don't. Son of a... <sighs> I know that's gonna happen. Clyde, I will just have to punch your face. Even with your really dopey looking eyes. Seriously, I swear to god, his dopey eyes is just... Ugh, creeps me up a little bit. I think it doesn't help out the fact that in the, uh, the 3DS version's worse. Because, well, they downgraded the visuals for quite a bit, but you know, I've already explained more on that, um, quite a lot of information about Pac-Man Party 3D, of how terrible it is, so, but even then, no, that's what I can really think about, so, alright, so it looks like, um, whose castle is this? Oh, it's just Clyde's, of course, transforming into a level 4 castle, kind of think about it, of course, alright, so, what I'm gonna go for, um, I really don't know, actually. Either two or... Two or... Seven. Two or seven. I think I might as well go for, like, uh, seven. Or, in this case, eight. In case if I need some little bit of opportunities that... Oh, actually, I might go for two instead, so... Because I need to get something rewarding from the, you know, the golden house. That's the only thing I need to... Purposely try to able to go for that. And beyond that, looks like Pac-Man managed to get into the uh, cookie factory now. And, um, yeah, everything's all come together, doesn't it? Well, at least in terms of, like, you know, pretty much everything, so... Alright, so he's definitely now in third place, as opposed to in fourth. And it looks like, yep, the event's happened, so... Uh-oh, I think he wants his cook uh, candy back. And this is how exactly what happens, but... Could it be odd? Oh my god! He looks intimidating that he looks! <laughs> Okay, so, never mess around with the forms of the teddy bear itself, so... Yeah, at least that happens, so... But I, on a plus side though, unlike any forms of in any other boards in the game, uh, there's only one section they did manage to took it down, and that was the forms of the top left corner, whilst for everything else, it's perfectly safe. So, speaking of such... Yes. I deserve the payback for that, uh... You know, for that, all that cause of that trouble, at least I'll let you, uh, Clyde, to be deserved to be able to actually give my cookies back. So, yeah, how about that? Even though that I probably should be able to actually go ahead and show off this boss fight in the forms of... Actually, this might actually be the final boss of the game, actually, by the forms of uh, Pac-Man Party kind of thing about it. Well, the fifth and the final boss in the Wii version, 
was in the third and the final boss on the 3DS version because again, um, the reason why they did this is because they just can't seem to able to handle like two variations of the exact same boss types all at once, so I have no idea what's up with that. Alright, so food javelin cook off or cookout. So I think we only played this before, so I'm hoping I can win this this time around though, because I think last time, I believe um, Inky managed to able to win that, so hopefully I might as well be able to get an opportunity to can get myself the power cookie. So looks like Pac Man's gonna be using one of his power cookies. Seriously? Did he just waste two of them? Well, for advantage though, it might be, yeah, but why is he use it two? I don't believe you, Mr. Mascot of Video Games of Namco. Jeez. I mean, nothing to be complaining, but it's just one of those normal difficulties these days, even with uh, a little bit mixed when it comes to, like, you know, normal and such. So, um... Yeah, that's all I can really talk about for this point, folks, because even then, though, yeah, I'm very, very happy with uh, how the gifts I've got. And I was really, really, um, pumped for it by the forms of, like, watching, um, Sword Art Online again. Because I was really into the actual, like, the animated show. So even then, I'm really looking forward to watching the first season, first season again after Netflix or something. So, oh wait, we have a new minigame. Jig Magnet. Round up the jigs and place them in your pen. Um, be, but beware of the hen. Golden Cheeks gives more points to player with the highest score wins. So... Although, I will admit though right away though, is the fact that unlike in, uh, uh, you know, Hen Party, but he forms it in Mario Party Island Tour, I found out to be no, that, that much of a problem on that minigame. However though, as for this minigame though, I'm not exactly a big fan of either, because, uh, one thing that makes this difficult about this minigame though, compared to the rest of the minigames itself, is the fact that, again, because of the collusion detection I always have issues with, and especially don't get me started by the forms of like, I always keep on ramming into the forms of like, the chick several times, or in this case the actual chicken, but even though no, that's as far as from my, uh, skills department, that's kind of usually as expected, but, so far, I'm doing pretty well, even though despite the fact that I've already used my, uh, one of my power cookies already, so I think I should probably, uh, establish that at this point, so I should be able to use that instantly, so, there we go. I think I've managed to able to actually defend my castle and stuff. Yep, it looks like I defense it, so, there we go. Gone successful. So, yeah. Not bad at all, even though that I just, still not a big fan of that one, honestly, because, you know, Gonna be a lot of emphasis on, you know, trial and error moments. It's like, you know, pretty much everything else for that, really. Okay, so we got the great soda escape uh, right now. So even then, though, that we can able to escape from there again. Which I always do appreciate it with that stuff. Even though it makes no sense to be able to see that Roger is gonna be able to swim in underwater because he was a robot. Even then, could it be possible if every single robot can able to swim underwater? I mean, usually Mega Man does that no problem. Like, he can just, like, um, you know, run and jump in underwater since Mega Man 2. Well, it's new forms of Mega Man 8. Well, normally Mega Man can actually swim in that game. So even though it might be a little bit of a optional move set, or in this case, just a little bit more, I don't know, seems kind of worthless or something, whenever when he starts to go and swim and stuff. I don't know if the, I don't know about you, but either way, looks like Clyde wins that, so I guess you might as well be able to claim that castle now, so yeah, as far as you might think. Alright, so it looks like, um, the castle, the, you know, the Clyde's castle is now transforming into the forms of Pac-Man's castle, so at least I'll give Pac-Man outfit for that, because, well, he was way far behind at the moment. Well, he's still in third place, though. Compared to, like, uh, Blinky, he was down to fourth place now. So, you know, you get these suggestions for this point, so... Honestly, compared to, like, uh, Clyde, and even especially noticeable for Pinky, um, those two ghosts are my most threaded, um, uh, players at the moment, in the forms of the entire game itself, of Pac-Man Party at the moment, just because, well, they're always trying to get to me, though, they're always trying to get to me. Anyways, um, tell you what, I think I should probably go for, like, uh, I would say for 7 or 8. I need to get 7 just right here. Ah, oh, shoot. 
I think my timing is a bit too late though. Fine, whatever. Again, don't know what's up with my timing skills for, to this, for this point today, but it's just how it happens when it comes to like uh, gaming strategic strategic and stuff like that. I can't really pronounce that right, but this is one of those things either way. Alright, so Blinky's gonna catch up for the cookies amount, so although not by much, because well, obviously he keeps losing by the forms of like the defense successful rate, and uh. Also, by the forms of like, didn't earn as many castles as uh, me, or Clyde, and even Pac-Man as a result. Alright, so Pac-Man gets... Oh shoot. I deserve that, Pac-Man. I at least I'll give you out a bit from that, because obviously you're still in third place though, so... I believe you might get uh, 1,000 cookies from me, so... Let's see how this goes, hey? Yeah, definitely 1,000. That's alright, at least as far as that's been fine by me, but uh, anyway. I get a bad feeling about this though, so... Oh, if, it's th if this is gonna be my castle, I'm gonna be really ticked off. Okay, good. At least it actually did take down one of Clyde's uh, castles, not mine, so... At least I'll hand it out to that. Alright, so it looks like uh, Blinky managed to get himself a castle bonus, and do we get a... Oh, a no new minigame yet. And it looks like um, that particular monstrosity teddy bear is almost going to gain quite close towards the estimation mark point. Even though I will make that right away, I think I should probably get a low number. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Why do I always have to deal with this Pichico machine uh, mechanic? I think I bypassed it, didn't I? Oh wait, I've bypassed it, so... <sighs> Terrific of me. Even though I would, again, love to show this off, but um, I'm a little bit worried about this, because much like the forms of, like, uh, Spooky Hollow, and especially Noticeable with, uh, you know, pretty much every single board throughout, the only exception being Greenwood Grove, and especially Noticeable with uh, Mirage Oasis, um, sometimes these games can go downright quick, and even especially Noticeable if you ignoring the boss battle itself completely, and then, you know, next thing you know, you might actually missing out, uh, missing out for almost instant. I mean, that could be a bit of a problematic, I felt. Anyways, do we get a new minigame or something? From the actual battle game right there? Uh, of course, we've already played this one before, so Pac-Man hustle time, so time to do some dance moves. One thing is worth mentioning though is the fact that in the uh, the Wii version and the 3DS version of the uh, this mini game itself, uh, usually it retains some of the different sound effects. Like I would say though is that I think the 3DS version does have a pretty good uh, sound effects, even though it doesn't uh, become as annoying as this. But it's just my personal opinion about this. But even then, I know a lot of people seem to have their own opinions of it as well. But it's just just one of those things. But anyway. Man, I really dig into the actual tune already. Especially noticeable how the fact that the actual um, audios of the forms of the entire game is a lot more better than the 3DS version was. Because in the 3DS version, I still on about the 3DS version of Pac-Man Party because, Jesus Christ, the music in the 3DS version is so awful. I mean, lackluster compared to the CD-based version, which is the forms of the Wii version, which, you know, still is a definitive way of playing Pac-Man Party to begin with, because you know how the fact that every nowadays the 3DS, uh, the 3DS systems doesn't get owned these days, especially noticeable that a lot of people seem to go after the Nintendo Switch right now. Um, is it true that Pac-Man does have its, uh, quite a few games that came out on the Nintendo Switch? Um, I think he did have, but in the forms of the uh, you know, Namco Museum Collections. Alright, so I have now my title of my defense, so I've reached that amount. But the only thing I'm still worried about though, is the fact that we're probably gonna be- We're probably gonna be missing out on that boss battle minigame we'd like to able to show off. Even for the actual final boss of the game, so... Of course we got Food Shuffle again, so we might as well play this again. And since I'm still gonna be, um, am I defending? I think I'm defending, so even then, no, that's quite a few minigames. I have to do a lot of defending, so 
At least as compared to how it does it from any other mini games, as far as I'm aware. Um, the only thing is worth mentioning though is the fact that um, I don't think I suppose I've actually mentioned about this at the beginning of the actual let's play of the game since about a month ago. Uh, you can only hold up to like uh, four mini games at a time, whenever when someone lands on the individual spaces, or even the actual castles. So that um, four is the only minimum you can only reach up to because no five, no six, no seven, or no eight. Or any kind of number for that matter. Alright, so... Yeah, I think we're pretty much done for this point, for the minigames wise for now. Even though there are some uh, new ones that we need to able to play through, even though it all depends on the luck though, or in this case, randomized, because, you know, unlike Mario Party, that, you know, you can just like, well, specifically Mario Party 9 and Star Rush and stuff like that, uh, you can choose that, um, the mini games you want to choose. What I thought was a little bit odd though is the fact that whatever I looked up on videos on Super Mario Party, granted, there are some mini games that have already been unlocked. Well, already unlocked from the get go. However, there are some mini games that are usually um, locked from the start. And just like any forms of in Mario Party DS, I just realized, um, the, min uh, the, um, the locked mini games will actually be landing just right onto that specific point, just like how it does in Mario Party DS, I just realized. Right, so that's only because of how the fact that if anyone wants to experience some of these mini games before beyond that, then they can probably start things off with the uh, the new mini games first, and then uh, we get into the actual like already uh, unlocked mini games throughout. So, all right. So Blinky, what are you gonna do here? You're going to, uh, of course, you guys sell a power cookie for that matter. Uh, the only event I was hoping for anyway, since I've almost nearly towards the end of the forms of the Cookie Factory, since I've reached that talking amount already. Um, I'm really hoping for that specific event right there, that um, we can all just usually just go into any space world, whatever we wanted to. But the only thing is though, is the fact that I'm, pre I'm really sh pretty sure, rather, that I could have expecting that we could able to actually warp into the actual castle with anyone, so... At least as far as I'm hoping for anyway, so... Okay, so we got Gummy, uh, Counter Pulse again. So... Yeah, we're, uh, expecting to see that coming. But anyway, let's rank up some more points. Alright, not doing too bad though. Even though unlike the new forms of how it does it in the, uh, the other, um, mini game, but in forms of, uh, Poker... Uh, pop or puka pop. Uh, that was quite. I, I won't say luck based, but it might be a little bit luck based at times because you you really can't tell whatever how much uh, blooming you're gonna have to work with. So anyway, well at least as far as in the last uh, board that we did done, but in forms of like uh, you know uh, crystal cliffs. But I don't know why I truly say that, even though it's kind of pointless to say that. But either way, I've pretty much dominated for defending my castle. So. And it looks like Pac-Man is now bankrupted, so all he needs to do, all he needs to do now, rather, is that, well, after this minigame is done first, then he would able to actually force to able to go ahead and, uh, just get himself his cookies back, so, chocolate chompers. And since I'm gonna be, uh, not so much defending or attacking, this means I can able to either win the minigame or even lose the minigame. It doesn't really matter though, because either, either way, I'm probably not gonna use my power cookies for the time being though, no, other than, well, just pretty much everything else for this Rosina Ball, so, anyways. Alright, so. Alright, so I've pretty much won that, so even then, I might as well be able to get my power cookies back. Well, at least one of them anyway, though, so... Yeah, you just felt your, uh, metal scrap part there, Roger. Who could you imagine if how the fact that you would be able to get yourself a, uh... I don't know, real realistic stomach or something? Oh, wait! I think Pac-Man's now back into the forms of, like, uh, 50 cookies to be exact, because, after all, he did win the defense, uh, mode. So that way, that he could get some of the cookies back, even though, not as many, but even then, he just got some of it though, like 50 of them to be exact, as I mentioned this before. Alright, so, I'm hoping that Blinky might actually just go ahead and land on, 
I don't know what space that I might as well go for, actually. Um, tell you what, I'm actually gonna go for, like, four for now. Because I'm pretty sure I need to able to actually just, uh, uh slow myself down in case if, uh, something else will happen. Even especially noticeable by the forms of that. The only thing, you know, I was hoping for anyway is to able to let anyone gather around in one specific castle. So that way we could able to show off the actual final boss of Pac-Man Party. But... Generally speaking, about the fact with the uh, new forms of the boss battles in new forms of Pac-Man Party so far, is the fact that in during the story mode, uh, these boss battles are entirely optional. Because even either way, I tested out I tested that out once during it in my own time, and it turns out that no one else, uh, no one else, well, a couple of exceptions, but the forms of the first board and especially the uh, the second board as well. And heck, even especially noticeable with. Uh, the uh the third one as well and maybe i don't think the fourth one or neither did the fifth one on my own time and um basically these bottles but these boss battles are nothing uh important when it comes to like the story modes because all you're doing from story mode is just basically you got to win through every single board so while simply just beating those computer players so Oh jeez, looks like we're gonna have ourselves a lot of events going right here. So even then though, we actually got ourselves three golden houses, and also another one of those, uh, rare, or in this case, just little technology events or something, so... Of course, I deserve that Blinky for able to actually just, uh, gather even more cookies, but even then, I'll, I'll be fine with this, so... Alright then, Cloyd, whatever you do, try to able to actually find ourselves the forms of the... Uh, the warping system. It, at least that'll be fine. Okay, good. So, I don't know what space are we going to be landing on. I think that's my only question. But, we'll see what happens. And it looks like we are... Alright, sweet. Now we're actually near to the actual boss fight. See, for then though, well, after this minigame is done, then we could able to actually end off the game, or end off this board from here. And then after that, until tomorrow, I should uh, probably expect that I would able to show off um, the next couple of modes I want to show off. Like, you know, the classic games, and especially noticeable where we actually, like, um, we're actually almost nearly to, towards the end of this Let's Play for this point, folks. So, I'm quite surprised. Well, it all depends on how long these minigames took, and even especially noticeable how long most of the turns will attempt to drag on a little bit. Alright, so it looks like I don't think anyone else is going to able to uh, do a full tie victory right now, so um, at least unlike in previous attempts, so I think that's what makes it a little bit strange about this. Okay, so the bomb is still standing up, so what's Blinky going to do? Oh, of course, he's going to use his power cookie, and he's going to eat the majority of these cookies. I'm always going to go for last place, though, because I just don't know why. But... As far as I'm defense on this, so... And especially noticeable, this is level 1 castle. I think I should probably let someone else have it, so... Because... Yep. I lost that. Oh well, no big deal. Because I've already got, like, uh... You know, quite a few castles. I don't know what, how many castles that I've got at the moment, but... I'll soon to find out as soon as I'm able to... You know, look upon something and stuff like that. Jeez, looks like I went over about the amount of cookies I have at the moment, even then. Because I've found the way, the fact of the matter is that I'm pretty sure I'm pretty much good at some of these minigames sometimes. But not all of the minigames can be very good though, but either way though. Well, at least some of them are pretty good and fun at the same time. Well, some of them can get pretty, uh, you know, awful in some areas. Alright, let's just say we'll actually go for 8 here, because I'm pretty sure I need to get to that golden house again, so... Let's see how this will go... Ah, oh, drat! <sighs> again. Once again. I, it's so hard to judge the timing aspect of this. I mean, it really is, though. Anyway, though, let's deal with the final boss in Pac-Man Party for the Nintendo Wii. Well, at least in this case, for the Wii, most likely, for the fifth and final boss. That wasn't the 3DS version, as I said before, the third or the final boss. So, let's get to this. He's got his Warfarin claws there. Is it like X-Men in, in disguise? As in the stuffed teddy bear? But anyways, 
Showdown with Berserk. Showdown on the party table with Berserk. That's an odd name. Launch onto him to rip off his fur. Use the platforms to jump up higher on the boss. So, yeah, this is, this is odd because normally that most of these teddy bears doesn't feel as intimidating as this does. But apparently we have to torture him though. So, or in this case, just trying to able to actually get him to execution or something like that, which I'm not sure what to expect at this point because, again, it's just a video game. But even then, though, that's just that comes out of nowhere though. I'm gonna have to admit that right away. But anyway, so all you're doing in this mini game though is the fact that obviously we do need to be able to rip off his fur because that's what this mini game will suggest. And uh, basically. Um, I don't know how this works though, I'm gonna admit though right away, because if you couldn't tell already, I'm usually doing very very bad at this, even though this is actually the first time I'm gonna be experiencing this boss, unlike, unlike any forms of any other bosses for this matter, um, I'm actually able to done with it no problem, and I believe, as far as I'm aware, uh, well not so much for the actual let's play itself, but I believe we've only got about 5 more minigames to go, but it forms of one of those mini games that we haven't played yet. So, and as far as you can see on the background of the forms of the actual opening window, uh, if you can tell that every time you start off the board of Celebration Avenue, uh, the actual um, time, as far as the actual like the actual like uh, sunlight to the sunset or something like that, uh, when you begin the board up, then you would able to actually notice is the fact that the actual window actually tells you about the fact that it's all in daylight. Whilst new forms, if you ever let the Berserk manage to able to actually manage to appear from out of nowhere while able to actually just simply to see there's actually a sunset environment on the outside portion. So, I don't know why that is though, but either way though, it's not, not so much explanation going. Now, as you can see right there, I'm always having a hard time with this. I think this is easily one of the more, more difficult bosses in the entire game because obviously because of how the way the fact if you really really trying to able to actually just trying to hit him and next thing you notice is how the fact that your uh, attacks doesn't arrange that much because even then, I swear I try to able to actually get onto him but sometimes I just can't seem to able to get it work. Oh, perhaps it's because he was actually in fully metal. Because, yes, after when you tear up his fur, it turns out it was actually a robot of any sort. So, yeah, that could be summarized as the forms of Roger's own place. Well, to be more specifically, most likely, because you, normally you see most of the actual, like, robots has got uh, completely destroyed, as you can see in the background. Well, at least one of them has got his eye out and stuff. And I believe that is pretty much it. Even though. Now, I'm a little bit down with the positioning uh, stuff, and here's the fun part. Skadoosh! Nice! Nice little posing victory right there. Even then, though, that I was heavily borrowed that from Kumano by 456, which I haven't still heard from him um, yet, but it's just the way the fact of the matter is, though. That's what our uh, YouTubers seem to think they do. Wow, I'm in fourth! That was pretty low with the actual boss fights compared to any other bosses for this matter, jeez. But hey, on a plus side though, I've got a plethora of cookies from my disposal at, at least. And at the same time, I've got myself my power cookie with me as well. So, at least expecting I would able to actually appreciate it with that stuff. Alright, so now we're done with the but uh, now we've pretty much done with every single bosses in the entire game. So yeah, we can now essentially gonna have to finish off the actual game board. Well, assuming if I don't low uh, if I don't get any low numbers, I think that's my only question. Because, you know, sometimes it actually leads me to the skillful games, whilst in other times though, it just leads me to the forms of that stupid Pachico machine um event again. But that won't can happen though. I am really hoping that won't happen again. Anyways though, we got wobbly ice cream again, so it's actually like, I don't know, the tenth time we're gonna be going for this mini game, but I don't know why anyone likes this, because well, I will admit though right away, it's not that as perplexing as the forms of Coney Island, but the forms of in Mario Party 5, because at least they'll give Mario Party 5, including the top 100, because um you know, Mario Party the Top 100 also has that mini game of Coney Island. At least in those particular two games, you can just simply just walk around in a 3D environment, not in the 2D plane. But at least as far as that's been concerned with, that's why some most of the mini games seem to either uh, did that did something original, whilst in some other times though, it doesn't feel as um, 
average as the forms of how it does in the Mario Party games because as far as I'm aware, you know, Mario Party is definitely a king of the world when it comes to the party games and stuff, at least as far as for Nintendo's goes, even with video games as a result. So anyways, come on, alright, there we go. I'm probably not going to touch that minigame again because we only played it several times and it's a good thing we're not going to be able to include that in new forms of in free play mode, whilst new forms of like, you know, Still, we've only got like about like uh, five mini games left now. See, so Fernando expecting this will able to be matter. So yeah, we're essentially almost done with the actual mini games as far as I'm aware. And of course, we'll show these uh, uh, haven't played mini games uh, catalog in new forms of in free play mode. See, Fernando, yeah, it's just five mini games left. So we'll speak of such. Oh, uh, we got snowballs some again. So. I believe we've already played this before, see so Fernando, I believe we actually did play this in, uh, Spooky Hollow, if I recall. We are it's definitely Spooky Hollow. So, um, yeah, since I'm gonna be able to be, um, uh, trying to able to actually get myself, I would say I must be able to go, uh, go after for myself my, uh, power cookie for that matter, but I really don't know for my circumstances of how the fact that I was able to actually just deal with the winning conditions and stuff, but either way. Okay, so I need to be very careful right there, especially when those of I don't want to fall off to the actual obstacles course here. Okay, at least five seconds. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to cheat myself right here, because I'm going to use my power cookies, because I need to... Uh, well, I don't know why I'm just essentially use that, because even then, especially noticeable, if you ever play this with the CPUs, it will be very recommendable. But again, when you play this with your friends, um, they'll get bored of like losing sometimes, because obviously if you use too much of your power cookies, then it'll become incredibly unfair for them. So, at least as far as the, um, yeah, feeling quite incredibly bad for them. Alright, so it looks like uh, Clyde managed to win on defense mode of his castle, so, and also I've got my one of my power cookies back ever since I've actually used one from, you know, Snowball Simo. So, anyways. Oh, I just want to get this board finished before, um, you know, we move on to the next side modes and stuff. Like, uh, you know, classic games and especially noticeable with uh, free play and rewards. And I'm probably not going to show off the multiplayer because, as you expect, it's just the same thing as... Uh, you go for the game normally, except you uh, can actually play as up to four players. So, but even then, though, as you might expect, it's surfing like this. Uh, there's still no online because even then, or at least in Super Mario Party, at least I'll give that game some credit. They do have online, but from what I've heard from everybody, um, the online did really disappoint me because you know. It's just like how it does in Sorcery 2014 Olympic Winter Games. It's just pretty much limited. Alright, so let's say we do wrap things up with the game. So, come on. Let's see if I can get a higher roll right here. Son of a biscuit! I was so close. I did that too early. Oh, jeez. I'm doing so bad when it comes to slot machine minigames, apparently. Oh, jeez. Well, at least we got quite a few mini games to go through at this point. Hopefully, when we get like uh, higher rolls than that, I was assuming we can able to actually get these games done. So at least I was hoping for that anyway. So, all right, Blinky, what are you gonna do? Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine by me because I'm almost nearly close towards the end of the actual like Celebration Avenue board. And then once that's been done, you know we're gonna be moving on because. Uh, as far as this point, we weren't able to actually get into the most current Let's Plays we're going to be doing. Even especially noticeable, I was really damn excited to be able to actually play a bit of my own time of the forms of being Super Mario Party to get my first thoughts of the game. Even though, no, we're probably going to be doing our Let's Play of that game until next year, as I said this before. But, you know, you get the, you get the idea. I believe this might be the, this might actually be the final time we're going to be, uh, hearing the actual music static a little bit, because I don't know why it is, if it, it might be something to do with my actual copy of the game, or maybe it's because of how the fact that some people seem to encounter that, or even the actual PAL version of the game, I'm not exactly sure, but either way, let's go ahead and just deal with, uh, Holiday Hustle yet again, and, uh, you know, you get it like, yeah. 
What's really awkward about in the 3DS version of this minigame though, uh, you never have the uniforms of the Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games, even the, uh, the Rio 2016 uh, Olympic Games as well. It's one of those things how the fact that you can use your uh, fingertips until you're able to actually tap on the bottom screen, whatever you decide to able to go left or right, left or right, alternatively. Uh, in the 3DS version of Pac-Man Party um, Holiday Hustle minigame, uh, it's just essentially the same thing, except, well, a bit unnecessary at the same time, so... Alright, so the last minigame we're gonna have to deal with before we end off with the forms of Celebration Avenue, Bumping through peas. So, time for bumper balls, and except the fact that I'm gonna have to knock you both, even though despite the fact I accidentally just blow myself right there due to the actual bombs coming from above, but either way though, I'm pretty sure I can able to actually let um, Pac-Man can have the actual castle at this point, because I don't really care about castles for this point right now, because I want to be able to get that um, stage finished before you're able to move on to the you know, the final three modes before the actual Let's Play is about to be over and done with. So, even though, no, just like any forms of in Kirby's Epic Yarn, um, there's gonna be, uh, I really do apologize if the forms of the lack of uploading schedules between, uh, you know, most of the other Let's Plays at this moment, uh, because the reason being for that is because, well, sometimes the games themselves, uh, the most likely the ones that we need to definitely need to concentrate on. Well, I don't find it too much noticeable when it comes to party games in general, because they are essentially just, well, you can simply play mini games and you can able to interact with the board's interactive stuff. Whilst in forms of like action platformers or any RPGs and all that stuff, uh, sometimes out of fact that I always have to like, uh, you know, trying to able to concentrate on one thing only. So, which that could be the same applies for every other single, uh, Let's players out there too, so... You know, I thought it was worth mentioning, so... Yeah, now let's just go ahead and finish off the game. You gotta be kidding me, it always forces me to do this. Okay, as long as I can able to actually go for free, I'll be fine, so... There we go, we are essentially wrapping things up with every single board in Pac-Man Party, and especially noticeable with Celebration Avenue, so... There we go, folks. Uh, as far as for my final thoughts of every single board of Pac-Man Party, um, it's pretty mediocre. I mean, visually pretty, but it's just it's not much variety when it comes to the actual, like, you, you go around the actual stage, and there's no uh, branching pathways you can take, and there's no item shops. Even then, though, there's no items you can able to use from, so... But either way, it's okay. I mean, nothing spectacular, though. I and mean, we're gonna have to tell you that right now. And yeah, that's all I can really think about for all five of those game boards in Pac-Man Party for the Nintendo Wii. So, well, again, in the 3DS version, um, still only has like three boards, which I found is really lackluster compared to the Wii U version was. Or, did I say Wii U? I meant the Wii version of the game, sorry. Okay, so with that being said though, uh, we got the endings off at this point right there, so join me tomorrow of the forms of Impact-Man Party for the Nintendo Wii Let's Play. Is that we're gonna be gonna get started with the classic games, which are we're gonna be playing through, Dick Duck, Galaga, and of course, the iconic video game character, Pac-Man, of course. And after that, we'll go for the mini-games, and, um, the rewards for last. So yeah, see you guys next time for tomorrow, so yeah, things can get a lot of fun around here.